So, welcome from Selma Park, New Mexico. This is the second climb of this tour. For the 343 commitment, it's still counting. This climb is taking engine 226, Brooklyn's engine, to the top for firefighter Brian Michaelese. Second brother from engine to uh, the head and vertical, making that ascent to the 110th floor. So let's see if I get this correct. This climb is dedicated to his mother and his four siblings. I know the two for sure are uh, Kevin and John, which I'll go over shortly. Uh, a little bit more about him and his wife Dawn, daughter Brianne, and three sons Jack, Liam, and Aiden. This climb is 110 floors in honor and respect given for the sacrifice made on 9 11 2001 for firefighter Brian McAleese, a uh, Brother on engine 226 that was actually working overtime on 9 11 to uh, pay for his son Aiden's christening, from what I read. Brian McAleese actually graduated college with an associate's in culinary arts and he was planning on opening his own uh, restaurant at some point. In 1994 he followed his father Jack's footsteps and was appointed to the FDNY. His father Jack had 25 years of service within the FDNY. And uh, like I said, he followed his footsteps and got on with it's a 226 engine out of Brooklyn. It said that uh, his first probationary year was pretty easy with his uh, degree in culinary arts. It made it go by pretty good. Six months later, he got married to his wife Dawn, and uh, it said the wedding rings came from Ireland because our brother was of Irish descent, and uh, bagpipes played at the wedding, and his mom Ann sang a few songs. We can never forget the sacrifice made so that others could live. This is his 110, carrying him all the way to the top. For his brother John, a firefighter in the FDNY, and his brother Kevin, a police officer with NYPD, it said that John and Kevin both went down to the pile at ground zero to look for Brian and into 226 for days on end. A family of public service. We will never forget and always remember Brian McAleese and his contributions to the citizens of New York. This 110 was given in honor and respect and part of the greatest rescue effort in U.S. history on the back of the worst terrorist attack on U.S. soil. We climbed. 
to keep our brother's name in the forefront, we take him vertical. And right now, the center 10 is for Brian McAleese, Brooklyn's engine. It was said that the uh, fire department allowed Brian McAleese to uh, march in the St. Patty's Day Parade where he would wear his green beret and his pin, the shamrock. A father, a husband, a son, a brother, uncle, our brother. We will not forget the sacrifices made. We will not forget the families left behind. And right now we're taking up firefighter Brian McAleese, the second brother from Engine, into 226 out of Brooklyn, making that ascent, heading vertical to finish the footsteps of those who've gone before us. This is the 343 Commitment, and still counting, 110 floors, Memorial Stair Climb for Brian McAleese. For his mother Anne, uh, a lot of names to remember, but I, I know for sure it's John, Kevin, and I believe it's Maureen as one of the sisters. And then he has his wife Dawn, uh, Brianne, his daughter, and then sons Jack, Liam, and Aiden as uh, family members left behind. I know I'm forgetting one person in there, but it's a hard thing to remember everybody. But uh, one of the things that Brian was known for was his work with the MS Society. His father, Jack, actually had MS. And one of the things that Brian was heavily involved in was fishing trips into, uh, I believe it was Long Island, for MS patients. And 226 engine from Brooklyn was involved in that. We cannot forget the sacrifices, the legacies left behind so that his children and his wife know that he will always be remembered. For Don, Brianne, Jack, Liam and Aiden, who are a lot older now, 17 years later, so they know that his history and his legacy will be carried on. Like I said before, initially he was gonna own his own restaurant at some point with a degree in culinary arts. But in 1994, he ended up following his father's footsteps, Jack McAleese from the FDNY, who had 25 years of service and uh, was appointed to the FDNY. That was a junior in high school when he was appointed in 1994. It was said that six months later, he got married to his wife Dawn. His initial engine company was engine 226. 
engine there in Brooklyn. It's a single house fire engine company. Headed up right now. Second climb of this tour on the 72 hour shift for Brian McAleese. Our brother of Irish descent. A family man, a husband, a father, a brother, a son. We will not forget the sacrifices made on and after 9-11-2001 during both the rescue and recovery efforts. The 343 commitment, initial 343 climbs, will be followed by the end still counting, memorial climbs. Who were those who worked the pile? For hours, days, weeks, months, until fruition of the recovery. We will always remember. We will never forget. Now we have officially started the downhill into the 130s. 139 brothers left to carry after this climb. Each brother will be carried with honor and respect, finishing their footsteps of those who went before us. And right now, this climb is for Firefighter Brian McAleese. I hope I'm not butchering the name. I think it's McAleese or McAleese, I can't really tell. But uh, the important part is he's going vertical. Right now is another opportunity to share their stories, to keep their legacies alive. These are why we climb, to push them up. Coming up on the fourth of seven verticals, getting towards that halfway point in this memorial climb. Ready to 226 engine out of Brooklyn. Taking a vertical as we speak. For his mother, Ann, brothers Kevin, who was a NYPD, John, who was FDNY, sisters Maureen, and uh, bear with me, but I think the other one that I read was Pat. I hope I got that right. To his wife, Dawn, and children, daughter, Rianne, and three sons, Jack, Liam, and Aiden. The promise is made, our commitment is kept. He will never be forgotten, but will always be remembered. As long as Facebook keeps this record, it will be there. Bridget 226. Like I said before, firefighter McAleese worked into 226. He was a husband and father to his four children. His shift work allowed for him 
to take family outings and spend time with his kids. One thing that was mentioned that he did say was his life was complete. For his brothers, John and Kevin, your brother will never be forgotten. He will always be remembered. Pushing him up to finish his footsteps. A family, like I said, of service with the FDMI and NYPD. A family that gave service to the citizens of New York will not be forgotten. For his father, Jack, and his 25 years of service, Brian was 36 years old. In 1994, was appointed to the FDMI. As I said, he was following his father's footsteps as part of a family of service. Brothers John and Kevin hit the pile looking for their brother, Ryan, and into 226. We will never forget the sacrifices made on and after in both the rescue and recovery efforts. 9-11-2001. They will be carried with honor and respect to the top, to the 110th floor, symbolically taking them to the top of the tower. This is the second climb of this tour on the 72 hour shift. Engine 33 went up yesterday with uh, firefighter Keith Roy Maynard. All right now it's into 226, Brian McAleese. Our brother was uh, on overtime during 9-11. It said he was trying to make the uh, overtime for his son Aiden's christening, who at the time, if I get it correct, it was Aiden was four months old. So he was doing overtime for that. So now we're coming off the back of the fifth vertical. Over halfway point in this 110 floors. At 72 floors now. Over 19 minutes and counting. For brother Brian McAleese. Right here. Engine 226. There in Brooklyn. Engine. Being pushed up. Symbolically, with each of my steps, one step closer to the next floor, one floor closer to the 110th. In completion of this memorial climb. As I said before, Brian was 
Kathleen's family was of Irish descent. And uh, Catholic, from what I read, married his wife Dawn in 1994. And uh, the wedding rings actually came from Ireland. Bagpipers played. And his mom Ann sang during the wedding ceremony. We will not forget the sacrifices that were made so others could live. This is 110 floors in the initial 343 commitment before the end still counting memorial climbs. We're into 226. Firefighter Brian McAleese. Pushing them up to finish those footsteps. The sixth of seven verticals in process. Carrying him with honor and respect. Being given. Second climb of this tour. One more to go. Tomorrow. And three brothers have been carried during this tour. Going vertical. As we speak, heading up, ascending to the 110th floor. Brian McAleese, engine T26, we climb. For his mother, Dawn, brothers John and Kevin, sisters Maureen, and I think the other one was Pat, but I'm not 100% sure. To his wife, Dawn, and children, Brianne, Jack, Liam, and Aiden. We will carry to the top. Finishing his footsteps. You are why we climb. This is why we climb. To let you know that we will never forget our brother, your son, husband, father, uncle, Our brother was known to be very aggressive at into 226 during fire attacks. It was said he came back to the station and uh, we grab a cup of coffee and smoke one while they did the after action of the call. We will never forget. We will always remember just the way things are. And now we're coming up on the last vertical. 110 floors. Just about to be met. Finishing this last vertical. Gets us at the 100 first. And a few floors after that, we're gonna reach the top.
pushing him. All the way up. And recognition and honor. Every sacrifice made. At 342 other brothers and those that followed in the recovery effort in the Ansel County. So that others could live and to bring resolve to the families. Pushing them as we speak. Like I said before, this is the second climb going to 220 floors for Brian McAleese after doing the Pigeon 30 Breeze Keith Ward Maynard yesterday taking him up with honor and respect given the 203rd and 204th climb so far in this 343 commitment and still counting. 110 floors. Memorial 5. The mask is pretty foggy right now. But I can tell you, we finished our last vertical, so we're 101. And still climbing. A few floors left. And we'll be at the top. Pushing them up with honor and respect. A family of public service. His father, Jack. Brian Fidget at 226. His brother, John McAleese on the FDNY, and Kevin McAleese on the NYPD. To his mother, Anne, his wife, Dawn, and children, Brianne, Jack, Liam, and Aiden. A promise was made, a commitment being kept. He will never be forgotten. His legacy, and your family will live on. This record will live on as long as Facebook allows. This is the 343 commitment. It's still counting. 110 floors for firefighter Brian McAleese. Into 226, engine out of Brooklyn. And I think the other name for that unit is uh, Brooklyn Firewater. But I have to double check again since I'm trying to remember everything off memory during the research period. So, this is for Brian. 226. One more climb tomorrow on this tour until the next shift. Taking them up. Next day. Following shifts. Until we're all accounted for. And the initial 343 commitment. And then the end still counting. Memorial climbs will commence. And brother, Brian McAleese, firefighter engine 226. You have ascended to the 110th floor. 
Rest easy. We got it from here.